Hey, what's going on guys? This is Miyasin. Today I'm actually going to be discussing Upstart Goblin in the TCG. It's currently limited. Should it go back to 3? The OCG has it to 3, so I'll try to cover up the pros and cons of this card. But before you start, friendly reminder to like and subscribe, because it motivates me a lot to keep making about ABs. And yeah, let's jump right into it. Alright, so I just want to cover up the pros first, and I'm not even going to pretend like you don't know the effect of Upstart Goblin. If you don't know how to read this card, you're literally more pathetic than a 3-year-old Amsterdam. Wait, hold on. Three-year-old hamsters are probably smart. Never mind. Anyways, Upstart Goblin, it's that kind of card that people might be like, why is it still limited on the ban list? I just don't really get it. And the main reason for that is because back in the days, they weren't really cards like Pot of Extravagance and Pot of Disparity to conflict with it. So you could just play three in every single deck in the world. And because of that, Konami was like, okay, seriously, guys, you guys are frustrating me. Everyone is playing the exact same three of in every single deck. So it was kind of like that tier zero card that wasn't really broken actually it wasn't is th there's nothing there's no one who actually complains oh wow you're you're really lucky you actually drew up start goblin you're like you sacked me it's just it's kind of like a brain dead by default choice i know i mentioned this in my ban list video but i just kind of want to mention it again i actually had the idea from the ban list video so that's kind of why i'm covering it but yeah upstart goblin let's just say you're playing a 40 card deck and you're really trying to see a specific three of like i don't know satellar knight the neb and and you're playing Upstart Goblin, you would have a 36.16% chance of seeing the Neb. Whereas if you actually don't play Upstart Goblin whatsoever, you have a 33.76% chance of seeing the Neb. So there is a 2.4% chance difference whether you're playing or not Upstart Goblin. So obviously if you're playing Upstart Goblin, it's just gonna be a bit more likely. And that actually does matter because in the long run, let's just say a 16 round tournament, two and a half games per match on average, meaning approximately 40 games in your tournament experience. 2.4% uh, chance is roughly 1 out of 41.66 games, so it should happen maybe one game where the upstart and the fact that you played upstart instead of playing just three other cards made the entire difference. So now you actually know that consistency is one really, really important thing, but also there is another reason why upstart might actually be kind of dangerous if it actually came back in the TCG, Me not necessarily right now but if it was actually a thing before it could have been more dangerous and the reason for that is because brandish sky striker actually would definitely love having this card around since when you have three or more spells in your grave you're engaged <laughs> <laughs> rip <laughs> not really you, you can definitely not rest in peace and gauge but your other sky striker spells get bonus effects so they don't just become like oh yeah pop one and, uh, and that's it it's like pop one pop one uh steal negate and steal <laughs> okay well leave me alone hold on that's way too good and also pendulums would definitely love a card like upstart goblin because not only are you always getting back your card obviously it's not really an investment but also you're getting a spell counter on one of your cards and when you get three spell counters usually you get a really pleasant surprise so yeah it's between consistency, power, and certain decks, now this is very niche, I guess. It's really just over powered I guess I want to say in Pendulums and Sky Striker but in the other decks are everyone going to really play is everyone really going to play Upstart Goblin like I said no because it does conflict with Pot of Extravagance and Pot of Disparity and those cards are actually seeing more and more and more play so if you don't really need your extra deck why would you play something like Pot of, like Upstart Goblin right all you you can just play Pot of Extravagance and you'll be fine or if I guess you kind of need your extra deck but there are certain cards that you don't always need so you can just say okay sure whatever I'm just gonna get rid of them my deck doesn't even have draw power anyways so I'd rather just play like a pot of duality that doesn't stop me from special summoning. I think this makes more like much more sense. So this is where pot of disparity will shine. And in case you're playing either disparity of extravagance, like I said, Upstart Goblin is 100% unplayable. Not to mention that this randomly loses to Jewel and Logbird. <laughs> yes. And since it is a spell, it also retains every single weakness of a spell. So if you're playing a combo deck and you don't usually lose to anti-spell in order, well, now you do all of it <laughs> like out of nowhere. So kind of a problem. Not the not the biggest thing in the world, but I guess it can kind to change things sometimes. I want to say probably the final issue that I might have is the fact that if your deck really just it OTKs for less than 9k damage and you're in a position where you need to OTK then this actually can be annoying because sometimes you don't really make interruptions very well and in going second decks if you're playing against like a control for example it's not about just breaking their board it's also either killing them the, rest of the same turn or, or also making a board that they cannot really recover from and going second OTK decks 
aren't really good at making negates on the main phase 2 after just vomiting everything to break her board and deal damage. So the, da the, like, the life point gain can actually matter a little bit. But yeah, that's honestly all I really had to say for Upstart Goblin. I really wanted to make this short and sweet. So Upstart Goblin, can you really come back to 3 in the TCG? I think right now, no. But as soon as we get part of the disparity in the TCG, so in Blazing Vortex, 100%. I do think that Upstart Goblin should be able to come back to 3. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Until then, I will see you next time, but not before asking you to like and subscribe because it motivates me a lot to keep existing on the surface of the earth. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very, very soon. Peace.